What up, y'all? We're back with another video. This video, you know, we got the LFP car over here. It's salmon, not pink. But the car is about 20,000 miles on it now, and I wanted to give you guys an update on degradation, how I like the car. Remember, this is the Unicorn LFP car. It has a 5.3 0 to 60 versus the 5.8 or whatever with the newer LFP cars. You know, this car has the performance motor and it has the long range suspension. So, you know, it'd be riding really good compared to the new standard range plus cars. And so this video, again, I'll talk about my experience with the car. Should you guys get an LFP car? How's the chemistry being able to charge 100%? We'll find out in a second. So stay tuned, subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Man, we monetize now. So come on, show us some love. But yeah, we got the salmon right here. Let's get into it. So as you guys can see, the suspension, really solid. You see that thing bouncing? Yeah, a lot that of bounce. suspension, stiff. A lot of bounce. Your Tesla's are built well, but like I was saying, the long range suspension on this car, phenomenal. If you guys get an LFP car, I obviously recommend trying to get one of these limited unicorns, but you probably won't. But let's see, what else with this car that I really like would be the fact that I could charge to 100% every single day. Now we got our olive oil over there, you know, just in the flesh, but. Gotta get him. He messes with the car, I'm telling you. He understands that charging 100% every single day is important. I charge this car to 100% at least once a week. Now that's what's recommended by Tesla. I have a charger at my work. I don't have a charger at home. So I don't charge 100% every single day, but I do it about once a week. And this car, when I got it new, came with about 252 miles of range. The new ones come with like 270, 280, it's something wild. But this car now has spacers on it. It has the aero caps that I've taken off. So the range that's displayed on it now, which is like 240, 245, isn't extremely representative of the degradation we've seen on this car. I'm gonna try to get like the kilowatt hour uh, degradation, like the technical stuff to really see how much of the battery we really lost on this car. But man, this car has been phenomenal. It has the performance motor. So you know that thing fast, it looks good, spaced out. No problems with this car at all, honestly, since I've owned it. The only one issue that I've had with this car was when the car wouldn't charge. And that was at like 3,000 miles. I'm not gonna lie, that was a little weird. And they ended up just changing out the charge port ECU. And now this car can take CCS charging, which if you guys know, most of the older Teslas, which this is just a 2021 November build, September, I think, they could not do CCS charging. So I got kind of lucky that the other one got busted and they upgraded it. But with all the mods that I've done and stuff, again, I'm gonna lose a little bit of range, but in terms of degradation, man, this thing's been phenomenal. This battery can do probably a million miles. I don't see why not. Everything's been really good in terms of the fit and finish. I'm really liking this car. I'm probably gonna keep it. I thought about selling it, but I'm like, man, it's just too perfect of a car. Great value car. Being able to charge, obviously not having to use gas, but also psychologically. With other Teslas, man, you can't charge 100% every single day. And so it's like, you're paying for a battery and you can only use like 90% of it daily. It's kind of like, it hurts, you know, but I can use every single kilowatt hour in my battery every single day without having to worry at all. That's the future of Tesla. That's the future of electric vehicles. I hope, obviously we live in Cali. You can see the weather's nice. So we don't really have to deal with the cold. So I know what you guys are gonna say. Oh, well this car won't really work in Antarctica. Like, yeah, cold weather conditions, the battery doesn't do the greatest, right? But we live in Cali, good weather, good vibes, salmon colored. Let me know what you guys think about the color too. I might switch it up again, I might not. I kind of like how it looks. It's not pink, it's salmon. And honestly, that's about it for this update video, guys. 20,000 miles, only one major issue, but between the first video that I made and this one, I have absolutely no complaints. The white interior, as you can see, through the salmon man, literally perfect. If the interior was black, just wouldn't be the same. But that's it for this video, guys. If you guys like this video, you know we've been making shorts now. We just do be doing entertaining stuff out here with Rizzy Gang. And Yo. you know we out here with the good uh, audio setup, camera setup now. We ain't ghetto with it anymore like we used to be back in the day. Subscribe, leave us some comments, share the love, and y'all have a good day. Yo.